Can you walk us through what you know about this breach and how it started? Sure. It's unusual in that oftentimes when we're talking about breaches, it's individual organizations who have data about us and it gets stolen. In this case, this is really an organization which has aggregated information from thousands of breaches over the last 10 years. And because they had a misconfiguration in part of their networking software, people could get at it. So this 26.6, I think, billion records, which is like five times as many people as there are using the internet on the earth, um, is really a composite of all of those attacks. Reports also suggest there's a silver lining that none of this data is newly stolen. Is this really true? Yeah, that's exactly right. Um, most of the research that I've seen has shown this to really be that composite, right? This combing over of old data to bring it into one place. There has been one bit of research that came out fairly recently that showed that a small percentage of it may be somewhat new to what people have seen before, but it doesn't appear that there's anything that's appearing here in this particular breach that hasn't appeared somewhere else before. For people watching at home right now, what can we all do to help protect our accounts? I'm thinking about all of them, LinkedIn, Snapchat, X, but especially those with ties to our bank account like Venmo. Thing I'd recommend is for people to take a look at things like password managers, things like LastPass or OnePass, where you can have a single password to sort of a vault, a storage unit, and it's going to reset a different kind of password for every one of those services you touch.